last year in Manhattan, we had 5,000 cases where individuals were arrested uh, for holding a lit marijuana cigarette. And those cases uh, come into our criminal justice system and have to be processed and then take up the time of a judge, defense counsel, a prosecutor, administrative resources. Uh, and quite honestly, there are no sanctions that are imposed as a, as a consequence of the case coming in. Uh, there is no sanction of going to jail. There is no real rehabilitation. So we are arresting individuals who are predominantly black or brown, and I mean a high percentage are black or brown, who are coming into a system uh, and and then pushed out the back end with nothing good coming of it. We, we are not trying to encourage people to smoke marijuana in public. And we're not trying to encourage people to, to smoke marijuana. What we are saying is that as long as it is illegal, uh, that we are going to treat it proportionally as we wish we are going to treat it uh, as a, a offense that should not be brought into the criminal justice system. And therefore, we are asking the police to issue summonses, civil summonses, or summonses not going to the Manhattan Criminal Court for those cases. And the, the consequence of, of that will be a fine. Smoking a marijuana cigarette, uh, cigarette I liken, is most analogous to an open container of alcohol. Uh, both have an intoxicant, and both uh, uh, are uh, illegal. Uh, but one receives a ticket, and the other may receive uh, an arrest in handcuffs. I believe there is a proportionality issue that we needed to address uh, that has been ongoing in the arrests, marijuana arrests, for years.